Good morning, it's Kevin DeWalt of ProLego here to talk to you again about Enterprise Artificial General Intelligence or Enterprise AGI. When I talk about this topic, you'll hear me say things like everything's about to change or this is a fundamental shift. And so to help provide some context for, for why I have those opinions, I want to talk about the last 50 years of information technology in the enterprise so you have some context for understanding why this current moment is so different. So let's go start with the 1970s. Uh, back in the 1970s, we had very little IT in most businesses. Although we had mainframe computers, they were expensive, they were hard to use, and they just really weren't that common in most businesses. So everything was pretty much you know, people with you know, memos and, and typewriters and, and, and telephones, and that really was the, primarily what drove most business processes. That started a change in the 19, uh, early 1980s with the introduction of the IBM personal computer. And suddenly this new technology allowed everybody to get more efficient at their, primarily their own desktop. So we had word processors, we had Excel spreadsheets and some simple databases. And now it allowed people to work more efficiently in their day-to-day -day job. Um, but still pretty much every business process was still driven by people, people making decisions, um, you know, people typing things into these computers. Uh, and it, there really wasn't a fundamental shift in how we worked and, and how um, business operated. It was just that we had more efficient tools. Then a big shift happened around the late 1980s, early 1990s, when we started connecting all these computers together. And suddenly, it allowed human beings to collaborate at mass scale with our reasoning power. So suddenly, we weren't just more efficient as individuals, but we were more efficiently collectively. And of course, that led to the internet and mobile computing, social media, cloud computing. Really, the, the innovations for about 20 years were all around getting us connected and working more efficiently. Um, but still at the heart of it, every business process was dr still driven by human reasoning. And even in cases we were, were like automating things, you know, a particular workflow inside your company that is driven by an IT system, all the automation was really about helping people work more efficiently, people think more efficiently, or process information more efficiently. And the people building that automation <laughs> were telling the computer explicitly what they wanted to do, or what we call programming. Then there was another big shift that landed somewhere around you know, 2012 or so that lasted for about 10 years. And that was the introduction of, of narrow AI technologies that allowed, uh, allowed computers to start taking over a lot of the tasks that traditionally only human beings could do with their reasoning. That began with computer vision technology that ultimately led things like facial recognition and biometrics in your smartphone, and it eventually evolved into the natural language processing innovations based on the deep learning technologies, Google Translate, you know, document classification, the early NLP transformers. And the introduction of this technology really made uh, some high scale, high data business operations a lot more efficient because suddenly we were able to give computers tasks that could start performing you know, reasoning and thinking functions you know, at a scale as good as or better than people. And this led to this, some significant automation. But however, uh, behind the scenes, there was really not a, like a fundamental shift in terms of the reasoning power of the computers. It was still people doing the thinking, processing information, programming computers, or in many cases, doing the supervised learning to actually train these narrow AI models to perform things more efficiently for us. Um, and that is pretty much the state of the world all the way up until March 13th, 2023. Um, Everything in through the last 50 years of IT, we've had innovations that made us work more efficiently, collaborate more efficiently, and start you know, off start taking over some you know high, you know high complex data processing tasks with narrow AI. Um, but at the heart of it, it was still us. We, we were the center of the business process, making all the decisions, doing all the tasks, and providing all the reasoning. Well, that all changed on March 14th, uh, 2023, when OpenAI unveiled uh, GPT-4. And for the first time, we saw evidence of a type of technology was able to start that had sparks of initial intelligence. It was able to do tasking and reasoning and analysis across a wide variety of different types of uh, documents, donate, domains, or information that suddenly was able to start challenging our hum human beings' unique role in business processes. And that's really the spark that's gonna change everything. 
Uh, and so as I'll discuss in some of my, my other videos, when you take that type of reasoning power that, that, that um, GPT-4 enables, it allows you to start coming up with a completely new way of building enterprise software and redesigning business processes that change everything about our work and our role in it. Um, thank you very much. Have a great day.